And what about the experience of caring for someone after this operation? Well, uh, that was in some ways easier than all the worry beforehand, because beforehand it was very much uncertainty and one didn't know what was happening and one was really scared about what the operation would do. And uh, as it turned out, of course, for Pat, it was very successful, so that was good. So when we came out of the operation, uh, Pat was pretty... Uh, well, she, she, it took us several weeks before she was really uh, sort of back into uh, any kind of living normally. And uh, then after that, uh, it was seemed like normal, but in fact it took probably another year before life got back to normal. But it was gradual then, and that was a straightforward situation because it was a gradual improvement, but a gradual improvement from being uh, clearly, uh, clearly okay. So caring was really, I think, uh, very much like caring for somebody who's ill and getting better. So at the beginning, uh, Pat wasn't really able to walk very far, so I used to go round. We, we live on a little place that's got a little green. We did the first time we went out, we did one circuit, and then we did two, and then we did three. In a and wheelchair? And in a, no, no, no. Pat was walking. She wasn't walking very steadily the first time, but it gradually got better and better uh, until it was really pretty normal. Uh, I suppose what was interesting for me was that uh, this little place we walked around to begin with was uh, pretty, well I say pretty private, there weren't very many people around and it wasn't very threatening to go there. But the first time we crossed the main road and went into Norwich and we went across to walk in a little park at the other side, that was a big step for her and I hadn't realised that at all. So that was quite interesting for me that uh, this was what was normal life to go across the road to the park. Uh, was really a big step. And then after that, we, we took it further and further and further. And it was uh, interesting, of course, because uh, I suppose the thing that uh, happened afterwards, which was uh, in a sense straightforward but not expected, was that partly, I think, as a result of the operation, she wasn't able to move her shoulders and so on uh, very well. And so taking account of that and understanding the issues. But I think caring afterwards for us wasn't a problem because mentally she was totally uh, herself, physically uh, clearly getting better bit by bit and although we had to call the district nurse out for one or two occasions for uh, in a sense almost secondary uh, reasons, all of those were the sort of things that I think you might expect to do. So really the aftercare, although it took uh, probably a year before we felt we were really back into normal life, uh, was three, four, five weeks of where we probably weren't back to normal life, and then after that it was, uh, it was not too bad at all.